Hi! In this circuit, we use the components like the push button and DC motor along with the power indicator circuit we built earlier. Let's build this circuit in Tinkercad and simulate it. We will first build the power supply circuit which is common for all our further projects. Let's draw the components mentioned in the circuit diagram. So, we will draw the USB standard A connector, LED red, and resistor of value 1 kilo ohms. We will connect as follows. The 5 volt positive of the USB to the terminal 2 of the resistor. This is the positive line. So we shall select the wire color red terminal 1 of the resistor to the anode of the LED, cathode of the LED to the ground of the USB connector. This is negative line. So we shall select the wire color black. We will now complete the rest of the circuit for which we shall draw the push button and the DC motor from the components library and wire them as follows. Terminal 1B of the push button to the terminal 2 of the resistor. Terminal 2A of the push button to the Terminal 2 of the DC motor. Terminal 1 of the DC motor to the cathode of the LED. We have now completed the circuit. Let's start the simulation. Glowing red LED indicates the circuit is powered, but the DC motor shaft is not rotating as the circuit is open. When we push this button and close the circuit, the DC motor shaft rotates with some RPM. When we release the push button, again, the circuit is open and the DC motor shaft does not rotate. This is how we convert the electrical energy into mechanical energy. This circuit has many applications. A few examples could be conveyor belt, toys and so on. You can now build your own circuit. Download the image file and submit in the assignment. How circuit explanation. In this project, current flows in two closed paths. The path 1 is a power indicator circuit seen earlier in project 1. When powered up, the red LED glows, indicating that the circuit is powered. When you press the push button, current flows from the positive 5 volt terminal of the USB through the DC motor to ground, negative, completing the path 2 and forming a closed circuit. The fan blade of the DC motor rotates. When the push button is released, the current stops flowing in the circuit and therefore the DC motor goes off. In this project, you changed electrical power into mechanical power which rotates the fan blade of the DC motor. Fun! Cheers!